Did you forget your iPad passcode? Your iPad is showing unavailable on the screen because of the multiple wrong passcode attempt. Disabled for 1, 5, 15, and more minutes. I am Jay, and I will show you how to unlock the iPad passcode without a computer in two different ways and other useful tips. A first easy method is using the forgot passcode from the lock screen of the iPad. Tap on Forget Passcode option in the bottom right corner for iPad OS 15.2 and later versions. Now you will see the iPad reset screen with details. You can erase and reset this iPad now. But ensure that you have the correct Apple ID password on hand. Tap on the Start iPad Reset option. And enter your Apple ID password for the iCloud account on the screen. Once you enter, tap on Done to start the Erase iPad process. Again tap on Erase iPad option. During this process your iPad will not take backup. But you can restore from old backup if you take an after erasing complete and setting up your iPad again. Wait for a few minutes until you see the Hello screen on your iPad. Enter your preferred language and country. On the next screen, enter your Wi-Fi password and join. Now, wait for a few minutes to activate your iPad. Enter your iPad passcode and set up again with new lock screen passcode without entering old one. Now, from this screen, you can set up your iPad as per your needs, like restore data from iCloud backup if enabled and turned on. The second option is to restore data from another iPad. The third option is to restore from a Mac or PC. The next option is Android. If you don't want to restore and set up like a new iPad, then select Don't Transfer Anything. I am selecting iCloud Backup, because I have a backup of my iPad. Enter your iCloud login details and verify with two-factor authentication. Follow the on-screen steps. select the latest backup. Now, wait for restore from iCloud Complete and start using your iPad like earlier. The next method is using the Find My Service. Erase your iPad from your Find My account from another device or the web browser. Here, my iPad is unavailable, and I have another iPhone sign-in with the same Apple ID. So I can manage my iPad account from my iPhone's Find My app. Make sure your iPad is showing under the devices list on your Apple ID. To check it, launch the Settings app. Tap on your Apple ID name and scroll to see the devices list. Here's my iPad. So I can find the iPad on Find My App. Launch the Find My App on another device like an iPhone, another iPad, or a Mac. You can do the same on iCloud.com. Log in from the web browser on a Mac or PC. Open Find My App on your iPhone. Tap on the Devices tab and see your iPad will appear here. If not shown the means, Find My is not enabled on your iPad, so you can't manage it from Apple's Find My service. Tap on iPad and again scroll and see Erase this device. So all your content and settings will be erased when this iPad connects to the Internet. An erased iPad cannot be located or traced any longer. Tap on the Continue button. Skip the phone details and tap on the Erase option at the top right corner. Now, enter your Apple ID password to verify and proceed for the next step. Now your iPad remove from your account, and your iPad will erase automatically if it's connected to Internet. In my case, 
My iPad start the erase process automatically, showing on my screen. Wait for the complete the erase process and set up again with your new lock screen passcode. Here I am using my iPhone to verify and set up iPad. During the process your iPad is trying to looking for nearby devices. On my iPhone, you can see the pop-up on the screen. With the unlock to continue option. Follow the on-screen instructions, and you are done. That's two easy methods to unlock the iPad passcode without a computer. In both methods, you need your Apple ID password. If you don't know the passcode and Apple ID password, then I recommend contacting the Apple Support Center. If you're the owner of your iPad, then you can definitely get help from Apple Support. Visit the nearest Apple Support Center with valid identity and purchase proof. Otherwise, Apple Support will give options to verify ownership with some document. I hope this helps you. I hope you liked this video, don't miss to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming video tips. Also comment for more help.